Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be unboxing November's BoxyCharm. I know it has been a while since I've done an unboxing of a BoxyCharm. So if you want to see what is in this month's BoxyCharm, then continue watching today's video. I'm going to be unboxing the BoxyCharm box for November and also go through all the products and use them so it'll be like a first impression slash review video. If you guys don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a subscription box monthly. Um, I've done past videos of unboxing other BoxyCharms, so I will leave all those videos down in the description box below as well as insert a playlist card up on top. The theme of BoxyCharm this month is invite only so of course in every box you get five full size products so let's go ahead and dive in and go right into it so this month we got a kate somerville goat milk moisturizing cleanser this moisturizing cleanser retails for 40 dollars the first time that i am using it on camera All right, so with this you can use for the a.m. and p.m. So it says to use twice a day, use a small amount on a wet face and massage it on your face and as well as your neck gently for 30 seconds. And then rinse and pat dry gently. My face feels really, really, really soft. So I like it. All right, up next we actually have a toner. This is the Milk Dew pH Balancing Moisture Milk Toner. This is what the toner looks like now the toner retails for $34 so I like the way that this toner smells and so this is vegan clean and effective it has no artificial coloring. So this is a two-in-one toner and moisturizer that softens and nourishes with a unique lightweight milky texture that leaves behind a dewy finish. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't tell if it is dewy, but my face does feel pretty good right now. Let me see. Oh yeah, it does leave my face a little dewy. Moment. Okay. All right. So the next product is a, a lip balm. So this is a Hey Honey Trick and Treat lip balm. This is a berry balm natural tint. So this balm retails for twenty three dollars. This is what it looks like. Honestly. Tastes good. It feels very soft and very comfortable to wear. So that is a plus. Next up, we have a Violet Voss eyeshadow palette. So this is the Violet Sunset palette. So these are the shades for this palette. So I will insert a clip somewhere on the screen of all the swatches. So I'm actually gonna try it out, but I'm going to use more of the neutral colors because I don't know what I'm gonna wear today and I don't really feel like playing with colors. So sorry to disappoint y'all. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go with a neutral look for today, nothing too crazy. This palette retails for $37. So this is the eye look that I ended up coming up with. So I'm going to tell you guys what shades I used. 
for this look so i went in with vanilla first to go all over my lid and then i topped it over with desert sand this shade right here put it on top over my lid as like the transition shade and then i took um amber sky and i put that a little bit more closer into my crease to give it more of like a definition and then i went in with dusk for my outer corners to darken it up a little bit and then for my eyelid i went in with champagne so i went in with the brush and then i went ahead and went in with my finger and then i went in with peach for the inner corners of my eyes so those were the shades that i used to create this quick eye look they go on very smooth they're easy to blend and this is that i didn't put no primer or anything on it i just kind of put it All on right, so our final product of this box it is a mascara i love when i get mascaras because nowadays it's pretty much the only thing that i put on my face is just mascara i did recently upload a video of getting my brows laminated and with henna so this is what it looks like i think it's been like two weeks since i've done it but really i haven't put anything on my face um just mascara um yeah so let's go ahead and try this mascara out i'm not going to um prime my lashes like i normally do so i want to see how this mascara performs on its own without any help this mascara retails for 26 dollars All right, so this is what the mascara looks like. This is just one layer. So I put mascara on this eye first and this is without mascara. All right, so that is the mascara. I do want to say I like it. So it has 100% volume, 100% lengthening. 90% defining, 100% long wear, and 100% removal. So uh, let me go ahead and finish my makeup off camera. So I will be right back. All right, so that pretty much wraps up today's video. That was everything in the November BoxyCharm box. So I definitely liked every product that was in here. This was definitely a good month. The moisturizer felt amazing. The toner was amazing. The palette, the eyeshadow palette, everything performed so seamlessly, blend in so beautifully. Um, the lip balm, I still don't kind of really see a tint to it, like, like a little bit, a little bit, a little bit I do. Um, but it's very comfortable, it tastes like berries obviously because it is a berry flavor. And I am pretty satisfied with the mascara. So overall, I think this month's box was really really good there was some good stuff so that pretty much wraps up today's video i hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing of november's boxy charm if you guys are interested i will leave the link down in the description box below and like i said i will leave the playlist down in the description box before you guys leave don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that notification bell that way you are notified every time that i upload a new video check out my past videos i recently just uploaded a video of getting my brows done i also have a video of of reviewing the Kylie baby line but yeah so I will see you guys in the next video